You are watching Melody Lane With me you're gonna have a great crafting time Well, hello there, crafty friends. It's Hallie with Melody Lane Inspired, and let's make a mug. And not just any mug, but a temperature color changing mug. So I'm so excited to finally use new out from Cricut are their temperature changing vinyl. Now they, it comes in heat color changing or cold color changing, but today we're gonna be using the heat color changing vinyl and we're gonna use it on one of the Cricut mugs. We're also gonna try out their new linerless transfer tape. So it's just like the other transfer tape, but 50% less waste because it doesn't have the backing on it. And then I needed some black vinyl to use, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my smart vinyl on my Maker 3. I'm so excited for this. You know it's kind of magical, and I like magical. <laughs> and speaking of magical, crystals. Like crystals from the earth are magical, and I like them, I collect them. You probably see my amethyst I have in most of my videos. So I wanna do a Fueled by Crystals and Coffee mug. You could use the same design, just change out crystals and coffee for whatever you like, and then add a picture in the middle of whatever you do like. So we have the three different colors of heat activated vinyl. This one's gonna go from a dark blue to a lighter blue. And the pink one goes from a darker pink to a lighter pink. And the purple one is gonna go from a purple to the blue color. So once we're ready to make it, we can go ahead and choose customize at the bottom, or if you're ready to cut it just as it is, go ahead and choose the make it button. Now, because I'm using smart vinyl also, I'm gonna use multiple ways because the smart vinyl is used without a mat, but that way I can choose for each one, whether it's with a mat or without a mat. As you can see here, only the smart paper one is lit up in my favorites. That's because it's only gonna show you the ones that can be used without a mat when you have that selected. So we're gonna go ahead and choose smart vinyl. And for this one, I'm using permanent. So I'm gonna choose that. And then for both of the projects for the color changing vinyl, you can go ahead and type in cold and that will pull it up for the heat cold activated color changing vinyl. So it doesn't matter if you're using the heat or the cold activated, they're both gonna use the same setting and design space. Oh, ha, it's so funny. I took it out and I was like, wait, it's like discolored. It's not, it was the temperature of my hands. I don't know if you guys can see it, but let's see. See, <laughs> oh, that's funny. First we're cutting our smart vinyl. But not only does it cut matteless, but the smart vinyl on the Maker 3 also cuts quicker. It's even fun just putting it on the mat because it's changing colors. Look at how fun that is in my hands. It's like solely for Monsters, Inc. <laughs> the colors, I love it. All right, so now we have all of our pieces cut. So we're just gonna go ahead and start weeding our pieces. crystals and coffee. Now I did attach these words so I could put it on in one sticker. If you didn't want to waste as much material, you could go ahead and just cut them individually and put them on. But I like to keep them attached for placement reasons. I'm just going to get the little tiny parts of the letters out. Now here's a question. Did you guys know that the end of the Cricut weeding tool pops off? Look at that. Do you know what the purpose of this is for? Well, I will show you. So go ahead and get your little vinyl, whatever little pieces you're weeding. And then, let's see if you can see it. You take this cap, you stick it in, and then you see how there's a slit on the end? And it cleans off your needle. So when you pull it up, your little weeded pieces are in the cap, and then you can just clean it out with your weeding tool later. Go. We got this piece finished weeded. Yep, yeah, that's right. Take your scraper and go over it. This is gonna look so pretty. Look at the color changing of the crystals. So pretty. Well, 
look at it. Look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, you're gonna love this. I already do. I'm cutting all these pieces down because I have a lot of scrap left and I could make, honestly, I could cut four of these mugs or three more with that scrap. Now we're going to use the new liner list tape to go ahead and transfer the material. Now we got all of our pieces weeded, so we're going to take the new liner list transfer tape. So this is what it looks like because there is no backing on it, which is like 50% less waste, which is great because it just ends up going in the trash. So, so I'm just cutting this down to size because I didn't need a huge piece because my pieces are little. And I will say because there's no backing on it, it is sticky. And what scissors you use does matter. I was using these scissors and it was just sticking to it crazily. And I got out these scissors here and it cut right through it. So if you're having a hard time with the scissors, maybe just switch to a different scissor um, and it should cut right through. Guys, I'm gonna stick this into my workspace here. Now I left the backs on just so it doesn't get any debris on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my Cricut mug here. This is the beveled ocean mug and this is 15 ounce size. Now before you do put your design on here, you wanna take some rubbing alcohol, go ahead and clean the surface that you're gonna apply it to. That way you make sure there's no debris or oils on it and it'll adhere nicely. And when you do place it, you wanna make sure that it's not gonna be in your mouth line. So you don't want your mouth going over where the vinyl is. I'm just going to stick down this side here. Put the center on and I'm going to smooth it out to each side. I'm going to go ahead and pull the transfer tape off and straight across it. I'm gonna go ahead and play my purple piece first because that is my center piece and it will be easier to kind of build the puzzle. Um, and I look at my location. I know on Design Space it shows that this opening is coming right off the corner of the L. One thing you can do when you are putting anything on a curved surface, since it's a curved surface, you can go in and put cuts in the corners, in the side, and then this will give your design the ability to flex. This is just one little piece, so it doesn't need that so much, but you could definitely do that for the words. That way it'll go ahead and wrap around it easily. And there is our finished mug. Now let's have it change some colors. And I just poured water in. Do you see it changing colors? It's light pink. Now it's teal going to purple. OMG. So now we're going to go ahead and make another project, but this time we're going to use the cold activated color changing vinyl. So except they're going to change the opposite way where the other one started dark and got light the color activated ones are going to start light and get dark so the pink's going to go from light pink to dark pink and then the blue is going to go from a lighter blue to a darker blue and then the purple is going to go from a turquoise to a purple color i found this at dollar tree here i love doing mason jar drinks especially for like fresh lemonade in the summertime so I'm going to go ahead and make an Aloha summer design to put on our mason jar glass. So in addition to the color changing vinyl, I just have to use a small little piece of yellow. So I'm using the Cricut permanent vinyl. You do want to make sure you use permanent. You do want to make sure you use permanent on the drinkware. Now we're going to use our purple color changing vinyl. Put it with 
One of my favorite Cricut tools, definitely the brayer. And it's so satisfying. Scraper and I like to burnish on the back first. And you got those little pieces there, so watch if you need to take your little, if one's sticking, you can take your weeding tool and just kind of hold it down, push it down, and then peel back. Are they there? But all my dots are there, yay! Now I'm going to offset the summer and I actually did a trick where I offset the letters. You offset them in the same color and then it makes it easier to weed because you're working with a smaller piece. So go ahead and carefully grab the offset. And it's much easier to work with this little piece to control, especially if you're doing bigger words and such. This is a smaller project especially if you're doing bigger words, um, but it's always it's easier to just weed the smaller part than the bigger part peeling off. Just a little trick to help you there. Then you can go ahead and take off the remaining part. And this part, none of this is attached, so you're just gonna go ahead and bloop, pull that off really quick. All right, now we have all of our pieces. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it on Cricut Transfer Tape and we're gonna use the new Linerless Cricut Transfer Tape again to go ahead and put these on. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this right over here. Put my design. our pieces we're ready to go ahead and start applying on our glass so make sure you take rubbing alcohol to clean the surface that way the vinyl can adhere to it so you want to make sure your whole design fits so you want to go ahead and kind of figure out sizing I just want to make sure I get the flower where it's cut out for Aloha is straight because otherwise everything's gonna be a little crooked I think that looks straight but then again I look see everything crooked so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and press this down. I'm going to peel this back, making sure most of my pe oh, making sure my pieces are transferring. Staying on the transfer tape. We're going to go ahead and push across. You can take your scraper at this point too and do this if you like. Peel that off. Look at it. Make sure you don't have any bubbles in it. If so, you're going to press it out to the nearest edge. But it looks good, so we're gonna go ahead and peel it. Again, you wanna peel at a sharp angle, going right across it. When you get to the edges of the pieces, go slow to make sure that it is indeed stuck to the surface. There we go. Now this is the moment of truth. This will tell me if it's crooked or not. Hopefully it's not. It's right. Well, this has some little tiny pieces on it. There we go. All right, that looks good there. Just bring it across and. And then I'm going to start with the little dots, peeling the transfer tape back, just watching to make sure they are indeed stuck to the glass, which they are all sticking perfect. There we go, just one more part left. I always like to look at my design and see what lines up with what. 
And that looks good because the end of my A hits the U and the end of this A hits the end of the E. So I'm going to go ahead and smooth this across. And there we go. So there is the finished mason jug just without changing the color. I really wanted to do the center one bright yellow. This is more like the maize yellow, but I didn't have it in permanent. So I went ahead and went with this darker yellow because I did have it in permanent and you do want to make sure you have the permanent in there. And you do want to make sure that your vinyl is never where your mouth is going to touch also. Got some ice to drink. Now I always like to make some fresh strawberry lemonade. In this case I'm doing limeade. My muddled strawberries in there. See the temperature? Temperature. See it's starting to change. The color at the bottom is getting brighter. Look at the purple change. You can kind of just touch it. It's like a drink you can play with. Isn't that amazing? I am obsessed with these new color changing vinyl. Links to purchase these are in the video description below. So thank you guys for joining us. I hope you had as much fun as I did playing with this new temperature changing vinyl from Cricut. In the links to the video, we also have our Melody Lane giveaway going on. So make sure you go ahead and enter that. And there's also a Cuties Adventure giveaway going on right now, which is so fun. Go ahead and get the details for that in the video description below. You get to create a cutie using a specific image of cutie and then you dress him to take him wherever you went. I recently dressed my cutie to go to the movies so he is ready to go. I know when my kids go they always want an icy and some popcorn so he's got his icy, his popcorn, and his 3D glasses <laughs> which I made the 3D glasses out of acetate the lenses and then colored them with sharpie. But I love seeing all the different adventures. There's like nurse cutie, there's a Paris cutie going to Paris. I will be going to Nashville, so there's going to be a Nashville cutie coming up. I hope you guys have a craftastic rest of your week. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye. Well, here's a shout out to a few of our Patreon Platinum Plus subscribers. Shirley, Robin, Margaret, Wilma, Lisa, Mary Lou, Leslie, Patricia, Kim, Debbie, Sue, Allison, Alina, Joanne, Annie, Crystal, Paige, Rebecca, Karen, and Beth. And we are forever grateful to our amazing admins, supporters, you guys who are watching us. We really do appreciate all of the likes and comments. Thank you all.